Hello, 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 hello everybody, Jesse Dexy here, welcome back to some more Mario Party Superstars. We are going to go into the option house because I did do a 10 turn game at uh, Yoshi's Tropical Island to test out a few theories and I learned some things that were kind of disappointing but there were also other things that I did learn that were interesting so i'm here at fat guys option house the guy here who is in the original mario party uh, is nowhere to be found so he's probably on vacation so who knows but yeah here is the options we have cpu movement speed you can go between normal and fast tech speed fast normal or slow that we can actually adjust during the game on the pause menu but this one we can't we also can't adjust the uh, CPUs and turn them into human characters. We can't do that in this one for some reason. Adjust background music, we'll get to that in a bit. You can delete the progress data if you want to. But why would you? Unless you want to start new, you know. The sticker settings right here, uh, there's the sticker collection, so you can see how many stickers you have. 43 of 67, that's how many you would likely have at the start. And I haven't gotten any new stickers, but you also, you obviously in the shop, in the Mushroom Village, you can buy more stickers and cards and music and all that stuff. You can also choose the option to hide or display stickers from players you don't know. There's no option to turn off the stupid sticker thing for yourself so I don't I don't get why they don't have that option available because I don't want the stickers to show up when I'm playing by myself but whatever and let's go to adjust background music there is modern for these tracks but as you saw there you can also have classic as well the modern tracks are default, but you won't have the option to go to classic until you played the board the first time. After you played a board, then the classic will become available for that board. So. There you go, that's the classic one there. And this is the modern. So it's a bit similar, but we like the classics. The moderns are pretty good themselves, but I prefer the classics. And here's Yoshi's Tropical Island. I did play the 10 turn game. And yeah, we had this one. And then we have the classic. You heard what modern sounds like for Yoshi's Tropical Island. We are going there today in this video. And there is a reason why I'm going to the Mario Party 1 boards before I go to the other boards. But we're going to Yoshi's Tropical Island today, and I want to say, if you pick Classic here, maybe it'll actually play the Classic when you go to the board. If that's the case, then yeah, you got a good one right here. That you have to... I didn't want to go back into the option house, get out of there. Sad guy, I didn't want to visit you twice today, come on. All right, Mario Party, let's go. So far in the item shop, there is nothing else to be bought. It's just the cards, the stickers, music, 
and stuff like that that you can get for the data house but nothing in terms of items that you can use in the party boards or extra boards that I know of right now. Maybe in the future with updates or DLC we'll get some unlockables and more content which we are hoping for because so far with what is already in there we want more than it but um they did bring us back the original stuff which is good it's, it's really good for what it is so we ju we're just hoping for more boards to play on not just yeah all right uh yoshi's tropical island um we played with rosalina dk yoshi and mario so this time I'm gonna go random. We already picked Yoshi, so we're gonna go with Waluigi on this one. So we're gonna bring Birdo, Daisy, Luigi, and Waluigi along. So yeah, yeah, let's do that. Hard, hard, hard. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna go hard for this one. Maybe in the next board, or maybe the final board, I'll go with Master. Hard is yeah, pretty uh, little difficult in itself right there, but yeah. All right, um, 20 turns. It did take me two hours last time, but this board is uh, a little quicker to go through, so there's that. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go with, I really prefer the classic bonus stars. That's just me, but we'll have it regular like the later Mario Party, so we'll do that. And this time we're gonna go with all types, so even the GameCube and other stuff can show up as well. Let's go. Yoshi Tropical Island. Hopefully it'll play the classic music because that would be sweet. If it only plays the modern track, then uh, I don't really think I would like that. When it comes to the music tracks in the originals, I always prefer the originals over the modern. That's not to say the modern tracks are bad. They're not. Long ago, a passing superstar met some Yoshi stranded on these very islands. Oh my. The superstar stepped up and saved those Yoshis. What a hero. Yeah, I know. I'm a hero. Yeah. Okay. The kindness of the superstar meant a lot to the Yoshis. It meant so much that they stayed here, hoping for another superstar to appear. Yeah, they waited. Uh, when was Mario Party 1 released? 1999? Yeah, they waited 20 years for another one, so... It's been that long. They've been waiting a very long time. Oh, longer than you think. But today is their lucky day. What? Today is their lucky day. It's time to find out who's the next superstar. Let's get to it. But now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. See you, I'll see you later. Yep. Cooper's since this is a Mario Party 1 board, he's gonna go right there at the top of the screen. So he still functions like he does in the original Mario Party 1 when he gives you coins every time you pass them. I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Well, obviously, because Koopa's too chicken to do two jobs at once. Granted, this is not the same Koopa as it was uh, years ago. Because that Koopa back then was the guide and the guy uh, you meet on the board. This guy clearly can't do two jobs at once. No, it's not the first time. And we'll decide to turn order. I get to go first. Good job. Bird always first. Luigi second, Daisy third, Waluigi fourth. All right. Okay. Now where's the where's the star? Yep. For the first one, it's all it always appears over there first on Cantaloupe Island. There's a Yoshi over there, pink Yoshi, just enjoying being on the water. It looks like. Yep, there's a lot more detail that went into this. The developers made it beautiful in this game. Yeah. 
So in terms of this board compared to the previous original board, huh? Yet the original classic is playing. So yet you have the choice, but you do have to play the boards the first time in order to unlock the classic. So just putting that out there. All right. Oh. Ah yes, I do love the classic music. The modern one is great too, but it doesn't hit me in the nostalgia feels, so. Well, that's obvious, because it's a modern one, but. Yeah, when I played this last night on my own 10 turn um, game to find out little things about it, yeah, I did learn a few new things. Bowser works a bit differently. Um, the music for Bowser theme in Mario Party 1 is not back, which is very unfortunate. And Bowser on the board here looks diff uh, works a bit differently. So, we'll get into that when someone visit Bow visits Bowser. Alright, here is Piranha's Pursuit. This game, I did get this last night, but... Yeah, it looks great. Solo, mash the button to escape and ground pound to feed PD with rain. Yes, some of the mini games are easier to beat in this one compared to the original. That's just me though. Cause I wasn't using the controller, like the pro controller. Uh, when I did this board last night, I was using the gamepad on a phone with the OLED screen. I do have the white OLED uh, one. So I played that with the Joy-Cons on the Switch itself. And it was a little awkward to do the button mashing in this one. So when you're the skateboarder in this game, you mash B. Oh, wow, he just shot the he oh my god. So instead of Petey just biting his ass and just throwing him on the ground, he just sends him flying. Just like Rayman in Rayman Raven Rabbit, when he kicks the rabbit and he goes flying. Wow. <laughs> Are you okay, Luigi? That was a pretty, that was a pretty hard hit there. Wow, he's probably going to be feeling that in the morning. Whew. But yeah. Oh wow, another 10. I love... Why are you going that way? Daisy. Why are you... I don't know. Uh, let's see. The star is over there. Daisy's over there. He, C is going for Bowser. Interesting move, but... Oh well. Let's just go this way. Looks like the coin toll is going to increase with each player who passes. The good news is that you're the first one who wants to pass, so... One coin. How many coins? Yep, one. That's one coin, right? Yeah. We don't need a second confirmation. Oh, really? Now I don't have enough for the star, but hopefully nobody lands on a event space. I still call them happening spaces, but yep, get out of the fucking... Mm, I really don't like that. I really hope the developers give us an option to turn that off for single player use. Because this is ridiculous. Custom dice block with Daisy. The amount of lucky spaces is 
way too much on these boards. There, ne there, needs, there needs to be a lower number. They're basically the only reason why everyone gets so many coins on these boards. So the coin star, if it's in play, it becomes a harder to acquire, basically. Whew, you almost screwed that up, Baluigi. Okay. One versus three. Skewer Scurry. I don't remember this one. Select this direction to attack. Try to pick out your rivals. Wow. Yeah, I don't really remember this minigame. I think I've seen it at one point, but I don't know which Mario Party it's in. I don't think it's in 9. I don't know. Not, oh wow, got two of them. Oh, wow, she just stood there like a doofus. Good job, Daisy. You could have won it for your team, but no, you just had to stay there. But I do thank you because I did win and therefore I do get the star. An upset? How is that an upset? I don't get that. Okay. Let's get the star. I like getting these high walls. <laughs> I'm gonna get the movement star if this keeps up. Alright. Get a star? Yeah, man. Okay. Hello, boo-boo. Yeah, I don't know why he's still for free on the second Mario Party board, but whatever. Uh, I guess... Hmm... I don't know. Ah, uh, maybe Daisy. She is in a second, but... Uh, what? In the original Mario Party 1, it was just random, whoever... Boo stole from. And there you go, that's what happens in the modern version of Yoshi's Tropical Island. Bowser flies there on his Bowser clown car, right? And then he kicks the podium that's Toadette stands on, and then it somehow just flies over to where Toadette is gonna land on the other side. That's just really perfect. That's the perfect soccer goal for some reason on Bowser's part. I'm. I believe I was gonna say something, but kind of forgot. Uh. Oh yeah. I helped out Daisy there because I got the star over on her side now. Waluigi, on the other hand. He's gonna be going to Bowser. Bowser minigame? No? Oh, So sad. Also, I did land on the versus based on the- well, not me, technically. Waluigi did. In the game I played on this board last night, the 10 turns. Waluigi landed on the versus base. I now know what it does. It is technically a battle space. And it- the minigames- used is just basically the regular four-player minigames. So, there you go. That's how that works. Maybe we'll land on it here. I don't know. It's near the start. So after you go past the star or Bowser on the left side, it's four spaces after that. So, that's where it is. Alright, here's the minigame from Mario Party 8, I believe. Winner or dinner. So I'm on Waluigi's, uh, no, I'm, I'm Birdo, I gotta remember that. I was Daisy, uh, last night, but I am Birdo, so I'm with Luigi. Alright, grab coins, but watch out for piranha plants, okay. I will do that. Oh, wow, what is... 
That's a beautiful looking death devil right there. Oh, what? Uh, oh, what? No, no, no. Ow. Mine. That was mine. Oh right, well, Luigi and I still got more. Alright, good job Luigi. Uh. And then everyone just got blown away, wow. Everyone died. Oh no, they're still fine. Somehow they made it out alive. Okay, turn four. It's only 23 minutes. Alright, uh, 12 spaces to the star. 12 places plus question mark to the start. Okay, it's not exactly 12. Um, what? Let me go to board. Okay, the star is over there, but someone could land on, on a bench space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Two, three, or seven and eight. Not, not board. Get back. Come on. There we go. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I would land on a red space going this way. Thirty-eight plus question mark to the start. Oh wow! Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh no, there's not enough spaces. Okay, if I go down, I'd land on the blue space. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'll go this way. Yes, it's one coin. I don't have to say it again a second time. Come on, man. What, do you have a healing problem or something? The, get up. Luigi time. Luigi time. The items in this game at the item shop needs to be more expensive. Because I don't know why they're so cheap when everyone gets so many coins. Especially, well, the champ call is not going to be available on this board, which is actually good. Will you stop showing up, you stupid question mark? What? Because Toad, Toadette can't move around the board. She's only able to go to one side of each board. And they only change with the event space, so. Thankfully, we're not going to have a lot of the champ call on this one. Not even on the next board, Peach's Birthday Cake. There is a reason why I'm going in that order. With both of the Mario Party 1 boards. In this one and the next one. If you can take a guess, but... Um, if you can take a guess why I'm doing it this way, like 2 one, one You might be able to figure out the rest if you... Have played a certain Mario game. Well, not, not Mario game, it's not a Mario game, it's uh... A Donkey Kong game. There you go. If you guessed why I'm doing it this way, then playing the boards in that specific order, then uh, yeah. Yeah, Bowser works a bit differently here. He just gave Waluigi a cursed dice block for more than what it's worth at the shop. And he gets a hidden block, of course. Only... Okay, good. Wow. Okay, he's near Boo, so hopefully he's not gonna get enough to get steal a star. Tackle takedown. This is... Oh, wow. Ow! Daisy! Ah, di Get away, get away, get away, get away, I, I, I won, okay. Run the ball to the end zone. Take it to me. Woo, good job. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy wasn't really doing anything. Oh, Luigi's losing animation right there. 
reminds me of his little animation similar to the sitting pose in Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. That's just what it reminds me of. Okay, but instead of him tw twirling his fingers around, he would poke, poke, poke. <laughs> Alright, uh... I don't want to get a one. That would be stupid. What I could get, though, is a seven. And screw over Luigi by doing that. Alright. Get a cell! Oh, well. At least it's not a one. Toadette, do you not say anything else other than that? You're saying the same line every time someone goes to see you. Wow. Redonkulous. I know. You got the star! Yes! I kind of wish, though, that aside from the classic theme playing on the board, which is wonderful in itself, I was hoping that if you pick the classic, that it'll change the, the rest of the audio tracks in the, the board back to the original classic uh, soundtrack, but... It doesn't do that. It's just the board theme that changes back. Which is fine with me. I, I do like that. I just wish Bowser's theme from Mario Party 1 came back, but... Oh, now we're gonna do a minigame. Saddle up. Oh, how dare you. I didn't want to come over to this space. Oh, wow. Now we got Bowser. Wow, Daisy, you got... Oh, uh, dark and crispy. Yep, Bowser is looking in the darkness. Avoid him and his fire... Ow. Fire breathing attack, keep running until the very end. Okay, Mario 46, right there. Yeah, alright, cool. Okay. So, oh, I... I was... I thought I was Daisy for a split moment. I thankfully caught myself because I almost ran off the platform I was burnt out. Wow. Luigi and Daisy got screwed up. <laughs> Bowser, did you jump on Waluigi? <laughs> that hurts. No, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. What do the losers lose? What do they lose? I want 10 coins, okay. That's fine. But yeah, that's uh, a nice taste of the bo bonus of Bowser minigame. There's no DK minigame because DK is the um, playable character, so there's not going to be any of, any of his games. And, well, here we go. Another round of Dungeon Duos. We had enough of this when I played the Mario Party 4 for you guys, but... Nope. We gotta see it in HD. It looks great, though. It, uh, I almost ran past it. Alright, Daisy, let's go. You can do it, come on. I believe in you, girl. Go faster, come on. There you go. There, alright. Uh, why, 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 Come on! You can't tell me I jumped way too- <sighs> It's actually a little harder to jump onto this fucking platform. My god. We're probably gonna lose this now. And, yep, we're gonna lose it. Whoa. Yeah, 
Yeah, we were too far behind. Because Bodo can't jump onto a platform. <laughs> wow.